Okay, dudes, so here we are at uh, the star is named oh, Miguel. <laughs> and this is like kind of like a random star in between places. But, uh, well, this is a cool uh, way of uh, potentially living in space and making enough money to uh, buy the resources you can't get directly from asteroids that it's just a few, I guess, like plutonium and other stuff. But, uh, well, you go to these guys, you know, and you know, like the ships. I think that they are all different. They have all different little things around, you know. Like this Gek dude, uh, trade envoy Half Haldifo, Haldif Had Haldifo. That's a cool name. So uh, you buy stuff from this guy. I'm gonna buy like uh, his two dynamic resonators. If you see, it's like a little bit above the price, right? But I don't care because well, it's like uh, that's the idea, you know. And uh, then, uh, now all these guys are, titanium used to be, like, fairly priced, so I was able to sell it, like, nicely, but now that's not the thing, let's check another ship, because, like, this is the second time it happens, like, you know, prices tend to change, so, maybe, like, this is just a temporary thing, which is cool, because, like, finding temporary opportunities in different stars and stuff, like, can get you, like, make some money, so it's a great idea to stay in one area, like, has, say, 50 stars or something, <laughs> but like, <laughs> so that's a funny laugh, so, uh, yeah, dynamic resonator, and the first time I came, it was even, like, like, underpriced, like, 3%, I think it was, so, and this guy has no titanium, or what's the problem, like, okay, titanium, because that was okay, right? But maybe he doesn't have a lot. So I have... I could totally buy titanium. I don't know what was the problem. Oh, another ship that is exactly the same as the other dudes. <laughs> so, maybe they don't have that, that many differences. Oh, this guy is so cool with him. These green stripes. I get. I guess he gets a lot of, like, get, get girls with that, right? So, let's see. Look at that, dynamic resonator just went up, a hundred percent. That's so cool that prices tend to change, so you gotta like, uh, get a good deal here. That was the first guy we went to, right? Hello dude. Merchant 40 something, you know, Futur Gerva, Futur Gerva, Futur Futur Gerva, so uh, Futur Gerva. Sounds like their language, right? Yeah, okay, this is okay. <laughs> yeah, this is fairly priced, right? And titanium, you know, it's it's a very, like, very good price. So I'll show you right now the idea. You know, so keep in mind that I'm buying, like, a uh, dynamic resonator, slightly overpriced, and uh, titanium, it was like 2% down, right? This is such a cool uh, visual thing. Just, I mean, if you're the kind of person that just want to, like, chill for a few hours here, like, then this game is for you, if not, maybe it's not, I don't know, you know. Look at this dude, he's crazy! Mining Overseer Ainu, that's a cool name, but here's the market. I don't know, like, how, like, it works, you know, like, do you, do you place the items there and it sucks them up, or... Or it's just like a thing, like you say, I sell this and then you have to hire people. And you're, because if not, like, yeah, you're saving a lot of money. So now you sell those items to, to this guy. And if you, you'll see, like, the dynamic resonator, he's gonna buy it 100% of the price, uh, above. So I'm gonna buy, sell it to him and make some money, you know. You see how much money I did? And, uh... And also, like, titanium is, like, 94% up. So this is a very specific uh, place in the galaxy, because I haven't seen, like, those kind of... Well, also, like, this is because uh, if you want to buy a dynamic resonator, and this is this is how I learned about this thing, because I was, I was wanting to buy dynamic resonators, and I came to this place, and I said, like, fuck no, it's 100% up. But then I saw, like, the guys over there who were selling them, like, 
underpriced. So I just came here and like start doing these like, I, and I have did like three times right now and did like how many times like, like well just once with a couple of chips, right? I mean you can do this for hours, but I'm not like an hour person, right? But I only have two million, and I can keep on going like through space, and I'll show you really something really cool. Like if you stay this long, you're gonna be rewarded by two cool things that I haven't showed so far. So the first is like this space station. It is so beautiful. I think it's the most beautiful space station I've found. You know? You'll see it right now. You're like, what? Well, well, then why you're going away? You know, look at this. Where are you? Oh, I went that far. <laughs> I was expecting this to go a little bit far, you know. So three, two, one. So check that out. Well, if we could have like a huge icon, not there, right? Like, uh, oh, I understand why. Like, we're not, like, getting a nice visual, right? Look at that. It has, like, uh, roots and this circular thing in the top. Every single space station is different. That's what something I love, you know? And this is the most, like, bizarre I've found so far. There's a bunch of planets in these systems, and this is the second thing I'll show you, like the galaxy map. Like what I'm doing right now, it's like, uh, like this, like what's that? This covering all these stars. You see this Cassandra beacon as like the main star, and most of these stars are um, other stars that I've been like uh, naming and checking out the planets and. There's some beautiful, as I said, like probably like last video. There's gonna be a uh, like uh, what's that? <laughs> a, a like a tour of like the best planets and stuff, right? Like I don't know if I should start doing it right now, but like I I still wanna like go up there. You know, those are black holes, like. But I don't I don't don't think I don't know if like I can keep my my waypoint after going through a black hole. I have no idea. So I think I will never use a black hole again, unless I want to like leave this area. But I have named like I think it's like 30 stars already. Like all those like oh no, well this this is not. Oh I think <laughs> oh, all, all of this I'm just like Sean Murray. <laughs> just selling. Oh none of this I named. I'm just a liar. Which ones are the ones I named? So which is Turrican? Oh no, one of these I named. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I named one of these. Nope. So uh, I, th I thought I had named uh, like one Turrican, and I was proud of that name, you know. But anyway, like this is the galaxy, and well, what I'm sure of is like this uh, on the top right. All this, like uh, this one, and then this one, and this one on the top also. The needle <laughs> and this one, it's just like names that I'm making up as I go, you know, these ones, you know, maybe this one, yeah. But I'm sure there was at least one down there. But who cares, right? Anyway, so yeah, this is a galactic map, that's the center of the galaxy. And you know what I think, like, uh, like this idea that, uh, that it's, uh, infinite? Or not, like, there's like billions and billions of stars. I think, like, uh, uh, you know, like, you just gotta choose, like, a region <laughs> and and go there. And it's because, like, there's, like, so much, there's only, like, an, an amount of variation, right? Like, uh, even if that variation is, like, thousands and thousands, look at all those black holes. I never done this before. Just going through the galaxy. <laughs> it's so cool. You know, it's like traveling super fast. Another way of traveling super fast. You can actually go to the center of the galaxy without going to the center of the galaxy, right? So yeah, <laughs> this was, that's why I love this game. You know, it's it has its things. You know, it has its things. So thanks for watching, dudes. See you later.